attention when I'm talking to you, boy. Whatever that may be. Say hello to my little friend. Your transmission has been terminated. Yo, 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 yo. What's up, y'all? What is good with y'all? Um, in the evening or daytime, depending on what uh, part of Earth you're on. Uh, but today, today or tonight, on, <laughs> you know, my podcast, we're going to be talking about politics and a little bit of bullshit. So, name this one, Bullshits and Politics. Um... The, the BS part I'm, I'm going to talk about is the reactions, not reactions, but um, I was going to go in on the Amber Geiger thing and kind of talk about how I felt about uh, the brother getting up there and the judge and the bailiff and all them and doing that. But instead of trying to jab holes at their compassion, um, I'm going to say sometime, us as black folks, we can be too compassionate. I, I don't mean we can be, we need to be um, vicious to everybody and just do stuff like that. I mean, sometimes we allow a situation that's heinous towards us to be turned around and we are used as the bait for why the situation happened and we just openly accept it. Uh, that's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about with too much compassion. Sometimes we blame ourselves for situations that happen that are out of our control and they got nothing to do with us. Plus, are made up there on the spot. So, what I was, I was gonna go in like how I thought it was. It was wild that he got up and gave her a hug. Cause me, I'm not going to lie to you. You kill anybody in my family. I I can't be within um, a mile of you. Cause I going to want to do something to you so nah I wouldn't have got up and gave her no type of hug it would have been all type of words flying towards the judge and everybody else if it was if it was me plus I'd probably been in jail they'd probably had to lock me up because I don't play like that and that would have been the role I took but I looked at it and was like I got that type of compassion for people but in situations like that, I don't. So I was conflicted. So I, I just decided to just basically give y'all a, a BS version of what I kind of think about it. And I kind of thought it was. On one hand, it was it was a just it was the whole it was a just little event, not event. I'm trying to find the words. I hate when I do this. Um, it was a just term of endearment. But yeah, the the situation and everything that happened with that is kind of difficult and sticky. So you don't want to tread on it and get something stuck on you about that certain situation. Um, Cause it was crazy that you know the man was in his house. She came in the wrong crib, even though it was warning signs everywhere. Um, she came in the crib. She didn't go by procedure. She did something. Boom, boom, boom. The man gone, and then the family basically turn around and kind of, instead of taking that moment to um, reflect a little deeper about what was going on, you know, they basically said, "It's cool. We know she probably made a mistake. It was she was at work 13 hours and all of that. Okay, you know, because that, that's them. You can't tell nobody how to mourn, or you can't tell nobody how to feel about." Um, that situation but if it was me I'm placing myself in the situation so the BS part about it is I would put myself if I was to put myself in that situation I can forgive and forget but it takes time that too fresh of a wound for me to say uh, I feel bad that you're going to jail for killing my brother um, I couldn't form no word they, those words wouldn't congeal in my mouth it wouldn't even flow out that way, so um, I was kind of mixed. Like, so like I said beforehand, I have that type of compassion about human beings. So, you know, I don't want to see nobody go to jail, but.
But if you kill somebody, police officer or not, you gotta go to jail. You know, you take you took somebody's life, so now we, you have to pay for that, even though the sentence was was a slap on the wrist, and she gonna be out of there in five years, and plus knowing the court system and knowing the judicial system and how that little jail thing works she more than likely gonna serve like two years um in actual jail they're going to let her out on early release for good behavior she's gonna turn around and probably get the the rest of the months took off um or the year, rest of the years placed on probation or parole she probably she gonna be on parole for like four years and she gonna be out here so by 2022 be expecting to see Amber Geiger you know back out on the streets because that's how I go when it especially with police officers it's like all the police officers locked up now they more than likely gonna be out very very soon so I, that's why a lot of people don't have too much faith in in the judicial system, especially if you're a brother of color or a person of color, they they not really for us, and we all know this, but it is what it is. So um, to wrap that little part up, and with with all of that, I kind of found that odd, but I understood why dude got up there, because that's a lot of hate to harbor, and if you ready to. Harbor that much hate towards someone, you ready to get him a lot of time out your life. So I guess he went up there and just got it all out before he, you know, and everything else. Um, she seemed, I don't think, she, she seemed compassionate when she knew she was facing jail time. Um, when she tried to trump up the tears, which is basically if that's, if you're a white woman in distress, basically if you could trump up some tears, you basically are free of any charge that you have including murder which we seen right there um, that attempt to cry on the stand was pathetic but it got in the end result it did what it's supposed to do it got her 10 years also the judge letting her use the castle doctor when it wasn't even her house was very odd um, now she, the judge who gave her 10 years is being investigated for um, some of the choices that she made during that trial and it's, it's seeming some fishy in the water so we'll see how that escalates or we'll see how that turn out and I'll be back to give y'all some information on that when that breaks so all in all, for the BS part of this this podcast, yeah, I thought it was real shitty that that family didn't get true justice. They got like halfway justice, and that wasn't even really justice. It was basically like it was a slap on the wrist, and it was basically like them apologizing to her for her actually killing their brother. That's what it looked like to me. Like it looked like they was apologizing to her and saying they were sorry to her. And sad that her life is now ruined, but they no longer have a, a brother and a son, a father. Well, I don't know if he was a father or not, but a brother and a son, most definitely. Um, they no longer have that, and they can't go talk to him, and they can't kick with him on holidays. But in the next couple of years, Amber Geiger will be able to do that with her family and her friends and all of that. And you think she gonna be inviting them to picnics and everything? Like, oh, I'm so sorry, I couldn't. No, she gonna move on with her life and she gonna forget about dude. She gonna end up getting married and it's, it's gonna be a whole thing. She gonna be on TV shows like the rest. So it is what it is. That's, that's how America do it sometimes. But now about America and stand on that sort of spectrum. Let's head into these politics, man, with our uh, crazy dummy in chief, is what I'm going to call him, because the stuff he's doing is just incredibly stupid. So, our president, aka our dummy in chief, um, with all of these Ukraine calls and 
this incredibly ignorant freaking lawyer Rudy Giuliani which is nothing but a stage character that's all these people is our stage characters playing a game that they have no rules to and nothing they know nothing about so we see a whole bunch of these little airheads jumping around um, with nothing to do with themselves and basically going against everything that's ingrained within American culture um, we already know like I was saying beforehand we already know about the systematic oppression and all of that all of that stuff within America for people of color now the race outside well the race within them all within, them, within themselves are fighting over the power and the reason I call them the race within themselves because um, a small portion of them not all white people shout out to my good white people you know what I'm saying I got mad love for anybody that's good so I don't care what color you are and I'm not prejudiced or biased or none of that stuff myself so you know I, I am revolutionary now don't get it twisted now I am revolutionary but I'm a kind hearted person so I understand that not not everybody is depicted as such you know everybody ain't you can't put it can't pin everybody in the same light so I don't I go by your energy I go by your essence I go by your your attitude you know what I'm saying if you a cool person to be around then I kick it with you um, if you're not then you won't see me it's just simple as that yeah. choices that we can make in life so that right there so but back to uh, this guy here um, and him damaging the integrity of what we didn't built up here you know besides of what was already tore down and built back up um, a lot of people or a lot of people my age and a lot of people a little younger than me tend to keep it are getting hip but it's a lot still a lot that's ignored um, y'all gotta get a little wiser to the game these folks out here are controlling the way that you can live the way that you can they trying to control the way that you can think I mean they're doing it enough with the influential videos for all the young folks and everything like that so you got them out here mentally warping the minds of the young ones and basically what they want to do is just kill everything and keep it moving uh, you you can't do that and you can't grow like that you can't kill up stuff and expect something to grow when everything is gone and there's nothing to grow or nothing to, to nurture what is growing because it's gone um, also these kids <laughs> out here are the key to the future so I think that well I know that's why they going so hard at them you know the influential part at least but with him going out here going against our album taking help away from allies that need help or people that helped us do things um, starting trade wars that are basically killing us instead of anybody else is enriching everybody else and is making us just a little bit broker um, at a slower pace and him out here giving basically begging for other people to help him win again so he can for another four years continue to do the same BS that he's doing now um, and a whole slew of other things not even to mention all of the past stuff that we know the Russia collusion joint which he feels exonerated on um, the twin affairs that he had and we all know about more affairs that he didn't had um, him just being a rough around the edges I don't know how this I don't know how to smooth out myself type of person um, when you were that type of person it's hard to get through. My mom always says, thick skull. You got thick skull. Nothing can get through to there because your skull is so thick. You know, you just believe that whatever you say and whatever you do is 
stone cold evident and not evident but stone cold set in it's evident that you don't care about nothing else that nobody say or attempt to do towards helping you to calm that attitude or try to sway that attitude seeing that that's not good or healthy for anybody that had that type of attitude and of course you know like knuckleheads do when you were younger you could be a knucklehead um but when you grow up you tend to find out that 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 head that the knuckles in need to be replaced with a mind because you can't think with a knuckle but you can think with a brain and you need to get right now what we need to do is we need to make an epic change if this man is not impeached we need to just go ahead and vote him up on out if we don't vote him on out we need everything that he come to us with that seems like he's finna screw us over we need to just take our into our own hands and turn it right around on him like no we're not going for this because i'm not gonna guarantee that this man lose the next um upcoming election who knows he Hell, he, he might win in a, a landslide or some shit. I, I don't know. But I hope not. But we can make sure that it don't happen if, you know, we get out and vote. And we get out and do our thing now. Put the, the footwork in and the groundwork in right now. Then we can make some type of change. Because politically, these folks up in here gutting us from left to right. They don't want the elderly to have health care they don't want the young people who are mentally going to have um the right type of psychiatry um or the right type of uh, medicine or therapy whatever is needed for them to to straighten out um, these people are gutting all the programs that are able to do that and they laughing in our face like ha 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 we just taking this money and putting it in our pocket because we don't want y'all to have it because y'all are humans and we don't too much care for humans and this is all paraphrase not paraphrase but this is all speculation and just my opinion on, on what i think they are thinking inside because you can't be no earnest person and actually tell somebody who has diabetes or aids that the, the one little pill that can save their life it's going to cost them a million dollars. Knowing good and damn well that one person probably is not going to be able to make a million dollars in their life. So it's, it's just stuff like that. Yeah, we need to politically switch the tide on because I don't know about y'all, but I don't see where we winning at. A man was saying we, we was going to get tired of winning. Me, I'm tired of looking for how we winning because how I see people winning is a lot of people are getting up nowadays going to work working two or three jobs i hear people say they got two jobs all the time oh i work here oh i work there you know people do that just so they can have comfortable money that mean money to go out and spend on themselves and not pay every single cent to the government the the tax the tax man and whatever house apartment or trailer that you live in because we all know rent landlords everything like that it's all crazy we don't really want to do it but we do it anyway um and i see people like like myself and my people and my family my friends and their family and f their friends and so on and so forth i see them going out and putting the nose to the pavement and grinding and doing a thing and making a way for something to happen because of course man we want to be rich and we want to sit on golf clubs all day and not have to worry about how our bills are going to get paid because we own everything around us and the key word is own you know what i'm saying everything is yours you have total and complete control over it and that's what most of us want at the end of the day we don't want to keep working for people and being told you'll make it only if you keep working for me because that's not working for me you know what i mean so with that being said y'all i'm going to end this young mini podcast well i'm a kind of mini podcast i'm gonna end this podcast here y'all by saying get yourself together financially get y'all a team build something up don't get caught in the mix 
for all my folks of color. We know we, we know what we got to do. Y'all play the game how it go. Don't step out of line because if you step out of line, you're going to be dead. And if you get lucky enough to even open your mouth and say a few words without either getting beat to the ground or shot, then let those words be wise and let them touch the soul instead of touch the heart in a negative way. Let it touch the soul in a good way. So let's keep ourselves alive and let's keep the people around us alive too. Any anybody, I don't care what color you are, just keep your people, keep your people right. You know what I'm saying? Keep your people right, and hopefully they keep you right. And with that being said, I would love for y'all to join me next Wednesday again for the pod, kiss ass, and y'all let me know how I'm doing, man. If y'all ain't liked or subscribed, I mean, if y'all ain't subscribed to the channel. Go ahead and subscribe if you like the video and the topic and some other things. and Or you have, or if you like that, just leave me a comment. And if you have like some suggestions or something that you'd be like, yo, yo, you should talk about this. I'll go ahead and if I, I don't know the subject, I'll do some research on it. Bam. Bring it back to you. Give you my opinion. Let you know what the deal is, yo. So, with that being said, this is your man, Top Doc. And... I'm going to go ahead and slide up out of here for this Wednesday, y'all. Y'all holla at me. Be easy, man. Peace.